Sure, do you have your referral? I do. Thank you. I'll give you this paperwork to fill out. Okay. There's three pages left for you to do. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. How do you like me to call you, uh, Mrs. Johnson? Fran. Fran, okay. Uh, I'm Mujer Amderis. Uh, thanks for coming to see me. Uh, can I start by asking you a very rude question? <laughs> How old are you? 61. 61, okay. And what's the, what brought you to see me? It's, um, it's certainly um, been uh, since last June. Um, we thought we might have been back, mm -hmm. uh, sciatic or what have you. But now, um, after the x-rays, MRI, etc., it's all been bone on bone, I believe. And, um, and that's in your in, hip? In my right hip. In your right hip. Mm. Okay. I can read from the letter that you've been to your GP and you've been to uh, a, a spine, spine surgeon. And they both recommended uh, that it's not uh, your no. spine, it's more your right hip, hip than the spine. Mm. Which is a very reasonable thing to, to mm. look at uh, mm. because the spine and the hip are very close to together. Now, um, okay, so how long have you been having the pain for? Probably started um, June of last year, June, July. Okay. That was and very slight. Yeah. And now the pain is? Uh, it's unbearable. I live okay. on eight neurofern a day. So you're taking con constant yeah, medication? I'm managing it that way. Yeah. Um, is the pain constant? Mm. Does the pain wake you up from sleep? Yes. Does it prevent you from going to sleep? Yes. Is it affecting your day-to-day -day activity? Um, only if I turn the wrong way, if yep. that makes sense. But no, I'm still working. Um, okay. I have a few restrictions at work. But Can you go and do your shopping? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, housework shopping, still do all that. Okay. But um, it's mainly bothering you from... Uh, you, you always feel that there is pain. Mm. Okay. No problems. Um, you mind if I have a look at your no. films? Okay. okay, this is an x-ray of your hip. Mm. Basically both hips, the left side and the right side. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, that's really looking um, totally different, don't they? They're yeah. supposed to be... The left hip is has a big space. This is actually not a space. It's um, it's more of cartilage, okay, yeah. like this model over here, and um, and that's what the gristle, which is the um, uh, uh, smooth articular surface that uh, provides lubrication, allows the joint to act smoothly. While on the right side, you can see that the hip is pushed in and the space is obliterated here. And there is a lot of more bone formation around here and around here. And that's more what, what's called arthritis, basically. Okay, so you have severe arthritis and it's reflected here on the other side. And you have small cyst formation over here and over here, and that's basically um, an advanced stage of arthritis, unfortunately. Um, so basically, a hip joint is made of a bullion socket. Okay, and I can show you a drawing of a hip. That's the hip joint. And it's basically a ball and a socket and there is this articular cartilage which covers the surface of the ball and covers the socket and that provide excellent surface for movement and it is a historically very um, stable joint and uh, allows very good range of movement okay mm -hmm. but um, human beings uh, tend to have arthritis like um, uh, other uh, uh, animals, okay, like dogs have arthritis yeah. and horses have arthritis, okay, and human beings get arthritis. In in the year 1850, our age expectancy was 38, and now we're living a lot longer, and, uh, and that's why in the past we didn't see as many arthritis, but nowadays we see more arthritis because we are out uh, living uh, the the joints that uh, that we have, mm. okay, and uh, that's why we developed. Um, uh, technologies to overcome arthritis. However, I'll talk to you about that once I need to, uh, once we finish the examination because I need to examine your hip to confirm the radiological finding. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So can you come with me, please? Now you'll notice that when I'm examining you, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to cause some discomfort. So mm -hmm. I do apologize for that. So I advise you that afterward to take some neurofin or yeah. or Voltaren. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the good hip. Yes. And this is the bad one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll start with the good hip, so you 
understand what I'm doing. So just try to relax and I'll do it for you. So that doesn't hurt. No. That doesn't hurt. No. And you can see there is a reasonable range of movement of your hip. In flexion and in extension, mm. there is a reasonable range of movement. Okay? I'll start with the extension on this one. I can't move it. So that's very stiff. Okay? And I'll bend it for you. How far can you go? And that's as far. And you can see you have what's called obligatory internal rotation because your leg is turned inward. Uh -huh. Okay? And if I try to move it outward, I can't do it. And it's very hard. So I don't mean to cause you pain, yeah. but that's very stiff. Yeah. So that's extremely stiff. I think um, the radiological finding are consistent with your clinical finding. So um, we can't leave you like this. Mm. Um, and I think you need an operation. Coming up, please. Now I'll show you a model. This is a, hip, a normal hip joint. This is the hip replacement. Okay, and my preference, and as I said, there are different preferences. Okay, um, a, a metal shell with an articular surface of ceramic on a ceramic ball head and a stem which is metal. All the implants that are available in the market worldwide are made of uh, metal stem and metal shell. Okay, unless people are very old, then we use a plastic shell. But the articular surface varies. Some articular surfaces are made of plastic, some are made of ceramic, like this one, which is very pink. Okay, and again, the uh, insert here in the middle, which I can't get it out now, mm -hmm. is made of ceramic, and some of them are made of plastic. Um, there are other modalities, such as uh, metal and metal, but I don't prefer to use that uh, modality. Uh, I prefer to use ceramic on ceramic or ceramic on plastic mm -hmm. and it's proven uh, to be one of the best um, articular surfaces available um, historically. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it looks like and that's how it articulates and... Um, so that's what I'll be getting. Yes, into. that's what you will be getting. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll show you a video of how it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's an animation so it's not gruesome and there you go. That's the hip replacement that's exactly this this kind of implant there are different uh, models available so we do templating initially mm -hmm. and we use your normal x-rays and we template the implant on it and choose the size okay I prefer to do the templating before the surgery and I will do that on your uh, hip before we start the surgery and at the same time um, I have x-ray machine inside the theater and I check my template while doing the operation and I use computerized navigation technology while doing the operation uh, so it's all going to be computerized with computerized assistant to check the position of the implant when I put it. Nice. So basically what we do, we make a cut and then we cut the, uh, the neck of the femur and we take the head off and then we ream the canal and then we start using special brooches like this to rasp inside the canal to open um, the femoral canal uh, from within mm -hmm. and there are different sizes until we reach the size of your own hip based on our template okay as you can see mm. and once we reach the implant uh, exact size which will be in this case size 4 I think your case will, will be size 4 as well mm. uh, in, in, in reality um, as you can see it fits then we uh, do the trialing as you can see there are three points loading and this is a press fit type implant where we don't use cement or a glue uh -huh. okay and it just it depends on the bone to grow on the implant because it has a very rough surface and then we try a reduction and then check the alignment and the position and in your case it will be computerized as well because it will be uh, uh, used with navigation technology okay mm. then so when we're happy with the sizing we take the trials and we use the real implant this is again another trial and then we use the real implant that's the real implant wow. okay then it will be press fitted and then we use the real head which 
in your Same. case will be ceramic head and we use a ceramic liner as well and we close the wound basically okay it is amazing yeah it is amazing how long will it take uh, the operation takes around one to one one and a half hours okay okay right. roughly that's the surgical time but there is preparation before the surgery there is anesthetic time and there's a recovery time mm -hmm. so it adds up but the surgical time will be one to one and a half hours right. roughly and okay um, and these are x-rays you can see these are my patients uh, that had exactly the same surgery and uh, you can go we can go through them this is a patient that had both hips done. Wow. Well, at the same okay. time? Yeah. Okay. I don't tend to do it unless in very selective patients. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see that's what it Gosh. looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're happy to go ahead with the, with the plan, yes. I'll take you to Belinda and she will take you through the uh, process of uh, the booking, booking. etc. Yeah. and uh, organize the date for you. Terrific. Okay. Thank Come you. with me, please. Please let me introduce you to Belinda. Uh, she's my assistant. She will look after you, Belinda. Hi. This is Fran. Hi, Hi. Nice and this is Belinda. Uh, have a seat, please. Um, Fran will need a total hip replacement using the anterior approach. Yeah. If we can look after her, take her through the process, and uh, book her as soon as possible. She can't wait. And um, uh, if you have any further questions, we'll look okay. after you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. And uh, all the best. I'll see you I'll soon. I'll see you soon. Okay. okay. Take care. Okay. Leave in good hands. Okay. Fran, is there? Yeah. Hi, I'm Belinda. Hi. I'm Dr. Almadiris' nurse. I'm a registered nurse. I work with um, Dr. Almadiris as well as um, a couple of the other doctors that work in our rooms here. Um, now, Dr. Almadiris has asked me to book you in for a hip replacement surgery. Is that correct? Yes. I'm just going to clarify a few things with you. Mm -hmm. Go through your notes here. Now, um, firstly, which side are we doing? The right. Right side. Okay, I'm just going to have a look through your history here. Are you allergic to anything? Sulfur. Okay, good. And now Dr. Amadeiris um, has said that you'd like to have this done as soon as possible. Um, there is, um, we do like to do some investigations prior to a major surgery like this, I'll just let you know that. So um, depending upon the outcome of those investigations, um, uh, might determine as to when we will book you for surgery. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think that we'll have enough time considering you're quite young um, and fit and healthy and quite active according to the notes that I've got here. Mm. I don't see any problem in booking, uh, looking at doing this um, towards next week. A big one next week. week. Okay. Yeah. Now we do um, go to three different hospitals but um, you've already told me that we've got one in mind. So we'll just grab some paperwork here and go through that with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Now at any time you'd like me to stop um, and answer any questions or you don't understand anything, please let me know, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Um, now, Dr. Amadeiris does do an anterior approach to the hip. Now, as a part of this process of booking you in for surgery, um, I will be giving you some information on the hip replacement surgery. Um, the first one, it comes from the Australian Orthopaedic Association. It's a guideline about uh, hip replacement surgery. It's a good idea to have a read through this. Um, talks about different disease processes of the hip and the reason why you might have to have a hip replacement surgery. Uh, looks at um, the surgical procedure as well as anesthesia, what to expect before the surgery, and also looks at the possible complications after hip replacement surgery. Okay, okay so mm -hmm. it's a good idea. I'll be giving you that to take home. It's a good idea to have a look through that and read through that. And mm -hmm. um, the other thing that we have is a booklet that we've put together as well. Um, and this also talks about the anterior, more so the anterior approach to the hip. Uh, this has been put together by Dr. Almadiris. So I'll give you this as well oh, right. to have a look through. Um, it also talks about the surgical procedure, what to expect before the surgery, how to prepare before going to the hospital, how to prepare your home ready so when you come home it's easier to manage when you come home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll give you this as well. Now, um, the other thing I would highly recommend is if you go to Dr. Almadiris' website and have a look at his website. Okay. There's an awful lot of information on there as well. I'll do that. Okay? Mm. Well, that's that one and that one. Um, some information on the hospital as well. Now, I'll just go through and fill out the booking forms with you, okay? Okay. Uh, these are your hospital admission documents. Mm -hmm. This is your consent form. Dr. Almadiris will also um, go through this again with you. Um, 
pro just prior to your surgery, okay? But if there's any uh, questions you'd like to ask me at any time, please stop me and I'll answer them. Sure. Um, now, your consent form says that you are Frances Johnson, that you're having a right total hip replacement and it's an anterior approach. It is your right hip and that Dr. Amadiris has discussed everything with you mm -hmm. in regard to the surgery and complications and risks. Now, if you'd like to read through there mm -hmm. and sign at the bottom, just to consent for the um, uh, surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so you've gone through the consent form. As I said, Dr. Amadiris will be going through your consent form again prior to the surgery. Mm -hmm. So save up all your questions to ask him then as well, okay? okay? Even if you write them all down on a piece of paper and bring it with you on the day of the surgery, he'll go through everything with you again. Mm -hmm. um, if you'd like to, you can always email me directly. My email details are all in the folder here as well. So you can always email me your questions and we can go through that too. Great. Okay. Um, now your estimate of fees. Um, Dr. Almadiris just goes by the standard AMA rate, he doesn't generally charge above that. Mm -hmm. um, so everything is stipulated here. Um, the anaesthetist as well, um, there will be a gap uh, in relation to the anaesthetist fees um, between uh, what Medicare and the private health funds pay back and what the charges are. Same with Dr. Almadiris, there will also be a small gap in relation to his fees. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do have international mm -hmm. fellows that work with us as well from overseas, just letting you know who might be there on the day for the theatre. There might be a few different people, okay? But Dr. Amadeus is the one who does your surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <coughs> we do sometimes film our surgeries, less just letting you know that in signing this, it gives us consent to use that for educational purposes. And there are risks and complications associated with any surgery. Um, the more um, they are rare, they are listed here. Mm. It's a good idea to take. I will give you a copy of this to take home. Have a look through it. Um, and if you are, if there are any further questions, please just give me a call and I can answer the f um, any queries over the phone or email okay. me and I'll answer that. Okay. Great. Cool. Okay. If I could just get you to sign. Oh, yeah, I think we already have this. Yep. Just sign there. So. You've acknowledged all of the out of pocket expenses. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any questions mm. you'd like to ask me? No, I just was booked in for Wednesday. Um, you'll be getting in touch with me regarding um, pre administration mm -hmm. procedures, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. Yep, great. Yeah, but the anaesthetist rooms will also probably contact you beforehand. Okay. They'll go through their fees with you as well. Okay, so I'll pop all of this information in the folder with you. The hospital documents are here. You will need to go through them and fill them out and get them back to the hospital as soon as possible. And then there's some information on the hospital as well as on hip surgery as well.